Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, July 30th, 2013. U.S. home prices have increased dramatically this morning, the most since May of 2006. In some areas, home prices are at an all-time high, such as Denver, for example. Since the wealth of most Americans is tied up in the equity they own in their homes, this is indeed good news. Expect the stock market to react sharply later today when it opens. American TV stations are uh, filled this morning with footage of a massive explosion at a Blue Rhino propane plant in Central Florida last night. Uh, the spectacular blast fortunately did not kill anybody, but it sent about a dozen people to the hospital. Uh, the blast occurred about uh, 20 miles northwest of Orlando, Florida. Blue Rhino makes propane tanks that are used by many Americans for use in outdoor grills and other reasons. Apparently, uh, some sort of event happened that's being investigated now. The, the fire was truly spectacular. Yesterday, an, uh, an event occurred which is extraordinarily rare. There was a head-on collision of trains in, of all places, Switzerland. If you have any experience riding Swiss trains, you know that they are always on time and always safe. Not so yesterday. Uh, two regional trains collided head-on in the canton of Vaud. 44 people were injured, four of them seriously, and the engineer in one of the trains was killed. Um, the wreckage actually was quite extreme. Uh, the collision was on one of the uh, safest routes in the area. One train had been bound for Lausanne, about 38 kilometers to the south, and the other one was traveling north from Lausanne. Uh, it's an area a little bit to the uh, northeast of Lake Geneva. That jewel heist on Sunday in Cannes has now been uh, increased in value. Yesterday we were reporting it was $53 million. Now it's $136 million. This is according to estimates being released by French authorities. This occurred at the uh, Carlton Intercontinental Hotel in Cannes. Um, more details are coming out now as to the uh, uh, actual robbery itself. Apparently what happened is that security for the diamond exhibit, which opened on July 20th, uh, was insufficient. This is according to the Nice Matan, a leading newspaper in Nice, which is an adjoining city. It quoted an unnamed detective as saying that the hotel is difficult to protect because its doors open right onto the seaside promenade, which is teeming with tourists. Anyway, none of that really mattered because the robber, uh, wearing a baseball cap and a scarf across his face, broke into the Landmark Hotel uh, by going into a private room of an American employee of the jewelry company where the diamonds were stored and then simply stole them and walked out. So with all this vaunted security, the only thing he had to do was pick the lock of a hotel room. Jardine Lloyd Thompson has recorded a uh, first half pre-tax gain of about $130 million, up 3% year on year. But the big news is that the most significant growth was at the uh, JLT reunit, uh, where revenue was up 25% year on year, up to uh, 48.8 million pounds. This generated a profit of about 15 million pounds, up from about 11.5 million pounds for the year before. One of the interesting things about the Ethiopian Airlines 787 that caught fire at Heathrow Airport uh, earlier this month as a result of a uh, locator beacon manufactured by Honeywell in the tail is the extent of damage done to the fuselage in the back of the plane. With an aluminum-based plane, this would not normally be a big deal. People are used to being able to fix these things. However, since the 787 is now 50% made of composite, this is going to be a uh, test for Boeing to see how quickly and how effectively they can replace the composite part that has been burned out. Believe it or not, uh, this is a little bit like patching a wall. Epoxy glue and uh, heat is applied to the uh, space that has been replaced, and then they have to wait until the composite hardens, and then they test it to determine whether or not it's hard enough to be put back in use. Industry experts are watching this closely to determine as to the future of composite-created uh, airplanes and how effective these types of repairs may be. Meanwhile, back to Boeing again, Action investigators have traced that fire, as we reported uh, two weeks ago, in the Boeing 747 operated by United Parcel Service uh, flying out of Dubai to a cargo of lithium batteries. The plane crashed when smoke filled the cockpit and the pilots couldn't see where they were going and they couldn't even see the instruments to fly uh, on an instrument-based uh, basis. 
This is the interesting thing. The National Transportation Safety Board, after the crash, held a two-day meeting in April to explore the dangers of lithium batteries as cargo on cargo planes. They banned lithium batteries on, as cargo on passenger planes, but continued to allow them on cargo planes. The NTSB predicted that there will be an average of six cargo plane crashes between now and 2021, with four of them likely to be caused by these battery fires. United Parcel Service, uh, as a result of this crash, has begun to use fireproof cargo containers as well as cockpit smoke hoods and oxygen masks. The company says it has ordered more than 1,800 fiber-reinforced shipping containers designed to withstand fires for up to four hours. Keep in mind that these lithium batteries are the ones that Boeing put into the 787. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.